Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See? This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. All right, time to go home. Yes, please. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. This is so cool. We've been exploring the old builder's world this whole time. Amazing. Well, we were pretty proud of it and we were putting the place together. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Uh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you. They're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be... complications. What kind of... complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Sort of late in the day to bring this up, don't you think, Lucas? Hey, I'm just trying to be cautious, okay? I want all of us to get home in one piece. And we're going to, okay? We just need to get that atlas. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Ah, very what? bright. I can't see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? Oh. Ah!
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? And why? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on, I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my kill! Ha! Me drop something. Looks like the green team cap. Jesse, Jesse, help! Welcome back to the play. You are newcomer. Jesse, 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 which one? Please, Jesse. Jesse, help! Help! Jesse, are you going for Ivor or Petra? Wow, nice one, Jesse. That was close. the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I th And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? You killed one of my best friends. I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? My friends are dead. You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh! I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here, and you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. That would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. 
I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. So can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Chip, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard because, see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well, I see your point. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. How about my sword? Wow. A sword. Is it sharp? How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. I present the Eversource Crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens, so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <laughs> Harper, huh? Oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. 
You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. Hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official agreement. Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. You lied to me. To all of us. Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Ugh! Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh-uh, no way. They do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines, quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. No way. With the old builders controlling everything, this place stinks. Yeah, I guess. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Let's talk more after we find Lucas and Ivor. Sounds good. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> Forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Ooh, shovel planet. Nice. here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. What exactly do you do here? Well, when I'm not in the arena of being a great gladiator, I hand out the daily food rations and guard the food, so no one tries to sneak any. Yeesh. Why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Fine. I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Sweet as mine, of course. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he. Got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. So I'm going to be a while. Hey, don't get too steamed. Maybe we can make a deal. And Slab, the Immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, hey, you were that crazy person in Extreme Spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Everybody loves Tim around here. Uh, 
uh, yeah, and justifiably so. He literally saved his entire team, and in style. His armor didn't even get dirty. He's a real Timspiration. Yeah, it's true. He could do the Tim possible. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. Hmm, some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Phew, smells like it too. from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. I understand now. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim, like, one, like you could. People are, like, already talking about it. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's, like, exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. <laughs> Um, hey? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I had gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything, and they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden planks. Solid. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You are the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. Face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, what do you even do around here? 
Face me cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face me has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face me's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. With your face. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. <laughs> Unless you got food, I don't want to talk to you. Again, the one I wanted to make suffer. Hey, leave before I ruin you. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow? Or, well, have? I guess I should ask around. Hmm. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously, I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Like, be a good person, you know? I need to get my friends out of the mines. Okay, let me guess. Face meat skipped lunch again. I've got a secret stash of wheat? Let's see if we can feed the beast. <laughs> Come on, quick before anybody sees us. should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet. And that should all grow back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wooden planks. Solid. There. That should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello. Hey, face meat. 
got some bread for you. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey. Glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I still feel awful about picking Lucas over you with Palma. I'm really sorry. It's okay. What's important is that you saved me this time. And I still have all my stuff. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! No oh. quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor! Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Jesse? As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the Nether together. Forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey! Jesse, I need to talk! <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... <sighs> stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. You got Moxie, kid. I think you might actually have a chance here. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully!
Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. Oh my gosh, I am so sick of those pompous jerks. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom. Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Thing about me and my team, Hadrian, no matter the challenge, we always find a way. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh... Well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them. Then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down! Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching and kicking and all-around awesomeness. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me in I'm gonna kick their butts. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah I knew that you were cool from the moment we met 
Competitors, on your mark! Get set! Go! ourselves into and you're just getting started ah! out of the way jumps Since sleep. Oh yeah, Slab, because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just beans more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Bye, Squishy. <laughs> what? Jesse, got your back. Go! <laughs> Like you're all alone yeah, now. Yeah, that's mad. You're gonna pay for that one, Clutch. Move it. Can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on, slacker! Hang on. 
This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, 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 please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well... I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Like this one. Hey, Slab. Do you even like this job? You know, it's got its benefits. I get to beat up people, and most people are scared of me. Which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. Wow. 
So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. Mm. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Psst. Hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Whoops. Huh. No portal atlas. A man forever voyaging by Sorin. Another one? Where do these keep coming from? Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. That doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny, new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait. My treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel? Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief. Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Oh, it was that guy from Endercon that was afraid of chickens. I told you, bro, but my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends, and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win. So you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. You say, sport, your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you could win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, hey there we go, sport fans. Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab, be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. <laughs> has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the Redstone Heart. Yeah. But at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. The least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. 
That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> Way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah. Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait. Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. I thought you were one of the toughest people in here, Em. What's the matter? Scared? Gasp! Is that what it is? <laughs> Are you scared? What? No! I just don't want to keep getting hit by stupid gladiators with enchanted swords if I can't win anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean, totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too. <sighs> Where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff, we're going to be like ten times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. We can do this. We don't need Tim, because we are Tim. Yeah! Not real? You, 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 I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. We're doomed. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. What? Of course we're going to pull this off. You're Jesse. Yeah, we can still do this. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs>
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The It's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried that... <laughs> scared. <laughs> Guess that's what I get for being honest. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. <gasps> Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Of course. Whatever. I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Keep dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I can't help but notice that our newcomer Jesse section has a disproportionate amount of dirt and gravel. Oh? No, nope. it's dirt. Like a dog on a plane. Or a deal. Hilarious. Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> Oh, you think? Oh, well, yeah, I do, actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh, this should be interesting. Yeah. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we yeah. got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em. You don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend herself. Here it comes. The finishing blow. What? <gasps> I figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer, and the other competitors are following suit. Wait, wait, what? 
What's going on? This isn't how I expected this to go. Thank you. You made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Ah, uh, well, that's... Could, but don't. This isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on. Over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. You are not going to bully us. Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us! I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this, together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Hey, two slab. You'll pay for that. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not. They all win. No! Mavia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it, bucko! We're in agreement! You promised me! And to think we let you compete! You should be ashamed of yourselves, manipulating all these people like this. How dare you? This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! So, you admit the games are rigged, then? Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Maybe, yeah. Jessie won these games fair and square. She's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jessie, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. <laughs> It's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. It's true. He'll do it. But is that really what you want? If you want it. Come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. Uh, this is useless. Well, well. Just 
when you thought M had your back. Turns out she's a backstabber. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Not to take what is mine. It makes your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Uh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> no. no. Ah. It was an honor to fight for something. You've shown you got skills, but you're still no match for me. We'll see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> oh. This game is over! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I... I lost? Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I am so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, overalls. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, nice ah, choice. Not bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time. Eliminate! Now, what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Adrian, Mevia, this game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? So sweet and so pathetic, Mevia. You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> 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 
With all Go, of us. Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. By far. Uh, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Come on! You never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! All of you, shut up! So you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Jesse, remember Splee! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on. What? what? Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? You guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. It's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. And I'm gonna help too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. 
and I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah. We could always use another awesome person, and well, you're pretty awesome. Ah! Oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor! Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on! Hey, Harper! Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. Let's go find the others. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Um, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice! There it is! Home. I assume Em told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse.
The crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Portal Atlas. Rock. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and she couldn't have done it without her friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas or a redstone heart, but it did kind of become a book about our whole adventure. I thought it'd be nice to keep it here as a memento. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the Portal Atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the Portal Network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Ah, uh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
a very unfortunate and unexpected twist. It appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. Chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 